Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. Lone Wolf Arms is known for making aftermarket Glock parts. They have been doing it for years. People look to Lone Wolf to accessorize their Glocks to make them better handguns. They're well known for making the drop-in barrels. A common one is a 42.9, where you just drop in the barrel, change out the magazine, and you're shooting 9mm out of a 40 Smith & Wesson Glock. And people love that. And I have loved that, and I have done that, and felt that their barrels were great. But they also make extended takedown levers, extended slide stops. They make this frame here with a more vertical grip angle, because one of the greatest complaints with Glock is the grip angle. And this is more vertical. But in 2021, they came out with the LTD-19, and that's what this is. They made this cool slide, some slide cuts in there, forward serrations, the Timberwolf frame, extended takedown lever, and slide stop, Glock sights. And I've loved this gun. It's been very reliable. They, they got into making their own handguns a couple years ago. But what is in this case? It is a keeper. They upgraded this model and made a superior handgun. So what am I talking about here? This is the newer Lone Wolf Dusk 19 and this takes the LTD 19 to a whole new level check that out uh, I, I'm so impressed with it when I when I first saw this I said wow I really want to get my hands on that now what makes it so cool well first it takes Glock mags okay everybody does it does it take Glock mags yep it takes Glock mags Glock 19 mag in here it does have a flared mag well very cool grip texturing you can see it's it's rather aggressive both with the front strap it does come with an additional back strap very grippy texturing on the grip they made it optic ready now this is the plate that i installed afterwards it comes with this plate here and it looks like this installed on the pistol that's what it looks like when coming out of the case so i do have an optic here it's this big boxy one i'm going to install that in a bit but i want to go through the features so that you can check out the lone wolf dusk 19 because this gun is super impressive to me it has a pvd coated slide sort of a cross between a bronze and a gold i think it looks cool they also have that with the thread cap on the barrel Obviously, it is threaded. It's a 4.6 inch barrel. It has some memory bumps there. The Lone Wolf extended takedown levers and slide stop. I like that a lot. It makes it easier when dropping the slide. You just have more surface to push that down to drop the slide. And also, this extended takedown lever is certainly nice. PVD coating is known for being one of the strongest materials. I always said Cerakote was, but I recently learned that PVD coating is even stronger. Love the grip. Love the overall profile of the gun. I love it that it's optic ready, but it's suited for a suppressor because it has suppressor height sights. And if you don't have a suppressor, it will still work for you because you put an optic on there and it's just easier to sight in. And the front sight is super tall. It has a tritium front dot night sight on there. And there's no downside to that. When you have suppressor height sights, there's really no downside to it, especially the way this is set up in a 4.6 inch barrel a two slot pick rail but what's most impressive is the trigger it's a flat trigger it has that wide trigger bar safety in there lone wolf the the wolf insignia throughout the pistol looks super cool but this trigger breaks right at four pounds and i have measured it multiple times and it is right at four pounds i would choose this trigger over a glock trigger any day i would choose it over right there on the ltd 19 because this is one nice trigger pull at four pounds you put a dot on there and it is just so nice i haven't shot it yet i'm going to do a range review and i am certainly looking forward to that check out that trigger guard a large and wide undercut on the trigger guard Nice and wide, squared trigger guard with some texturing right there. And overall, very nice. Now, I said I would put 
the dot on there. Let me go ahead and do that and we'll check it out optic ready. What I have on here now is a Swamp Fox Kraken green dot. It's one of those big boxy optics that many people say look goofy <laughs> and it kind of does compared to your your typical red dot or green dot or optic on a pistol. I, I get that but this is a nice green dot and I have used this on other handguns and I am very much impressed with it. If I was was going to carry this gun I would not use this optic but I don't plan to carry it I plan to enjoy it at the range so I went with the green dot with the big window right there and when I sight in the optic you can do it a little bit at home to get that right on the front sight and it is pretty well centered so I think I'm going to have an easy time at the range with this so the option of putting a red dot or a green dot or an optic on there along with a suppressor with the tall sights makes it really nice i love that grip texturing and i'm thrilled with that trigger let's go ahead and disassemble the pistol those extended takedown levers are nice and here we have the frame and a single recoil spring captive all steel guide rod and then we have a threaded barrel here that is not going to be removed because I would have to take that thread cap off, but that's what you're looking at right there. Very well machined. They took a Glock pattern handgun and made it into a nicer pistol. And I love this Dusk model. I think the trigger is amazing. I think that the optic ready option is cool. And I like the tall sights with the tritium front dot. The 4.6 inch barrel should add to the accuracy of it and that trigger should be so nice especially for for the follow-up shots a, a light trigger like that with quick follow-up shots and to top it off it's not a very heavy gun you're looking at right around 20 ounces without the magazine and without the optics so it's it's not heavy it's got a more vertical grip angle 19 degrees actually compared to a glock that would extend out this way and people would have to readjust their sights glock fans may say well i'm fine the way it is well a lot of people are but a lot of people aren't either so the dusk took care of that and they made a very nice looking handgun i'm going to do a range review i can't wait for that oh by the way <clears throat> this is the most expensive lone wolf dusk 19 they have they have a couple like this, different color variations, but this goes for right around 700 bucks. They have other Dusk models that are much less expensive in the mid 500s, which puts you in the Glock price category. And I honestly, I would choose a Dusk 19 over a Glock. And I own several Glocks. I'm not trying to bash them. It's just that this is, in my opinion, a superior handgun with many parts installed, that Lone Wolf is known for, a lot of people dig them, I do, for a, well, let's just say the same amount of money. So here we have it, the Lone Wolf Dusk. You'll be seeing more of this next time, especially at the range. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate the thumbs up button. Thanks for watching and you guys be safe.